How you doing, guys? And welcome back to the Clear Cryptos YouTube channel. This is Oscar Ramos, your host. And in this video, I want to explain to you the Coin Perspective tool, which is something that I use a lot for my research, for my investments, and of course for my YouTube channel. Now you may wonder what this is. Well, I'm gonna tell you that this helps you compare different market caps, and you can adjust the circulating supply, you can adjust the market cap, and even price as well. Now, why do we use this? Well, have you ever wondered or questioned? concern maybe what will be the price of let's say cardano if cardano had the same market cap as bitcoin or how about the shiba inu if shiba inu had the same market cap right now as of dogecoin because if that's your question then the price of shiba inu will rise 31 percent and that will bring the price the market cap of shiba inu to 8.1 billion from 6.2 billion but how do we do that? And there are so many, so, so many terminology here that you probably don't understand if you're a beginner. Well, let me explain. Market cap is the result of multiplying the price of the crypto times the circulating supply. In circulating supply, it means that is the total amount of the cryptocurrency in tokens or coins that is available in the market that differs from the total supply, which the total supply is the amount of crypto of or tokens of that specific uh, asset, digital asset that was minted at the very beginning. In this case, for Shiba Inu, that was 1,000 1, trillion, uh, which is a lot, right? But now we, there's only 500 plus trillion available, and that's it. Some cryptocurrencies have unlimited supplies, and some other ones have fixed, like Shiba Inu. So that is the basics of the coin perspective to really compare and dream in, in in a way. Maybe you have a question regarding Crocoin or how about Tectonic or how about Algorand or any other cryptocurrency. I think this is what I'm gonna tell you to do. So now, first things first, let's go ahead and select a crypto and compare it to another one. Well, if let's say, I think one of the easiest examples will be Cardano if I wanna compare it to Ethereum because Cardano and Ethereum have are a proof of work, proof of stake companies, right? Projects, in this case, Ethereum is the proof of work, Cardano is the proof of stake, and at this time, Ethereum is, you know, transitioning to E2 to become a proof of stake as well. So it's gonna become a much better comparison to Cardano. But in this case, these are blockchains, right? And they host a lot of dApps, a lot of technology, and a lot of development teams, right? In this case, if Cardano had the same market cap as Ethereum, we can take a look at some of the stats from Cardano, which has a 45 billion total supply, but out of that total supply, there's only 33 billion in circulating, and that equals to 15.5 billion uh, once we look at the price. As the price grows, well, of course, the market cap will continue growing. And as the circulating supply grows, the price of the digital asset usually drops. Now, if Cardano had a tiers market cap, that will be at $165 billion. That will bring a huge growth of 966% upside. That will put the price of one ADA from 0.46 cents to $4.89. Dollars. So, wow. I mean, that this is one of the reasons why we like to do this, not to create false expectations, but always try to compare the correct categories to the specific cryptocurrency that you're looking for. I wouldn't be comparing Cardano to Bitcoin because they don't work in the same playing field. Although the two of them are store of value, mainly Cardano is used as a blockchain, right? As a community so people developed in the cardano ecosystem because if we do that then we're starting to see crazy amount of numbers 25x um, and it's gonna be just insane at more than ten dollars for one cardano of course the bull cycles and years from now will decide what what's going on but at the end of the day something more realistic will be comparing it to ethereum and that will give us a price of four dollars now here on Coin Perspective, we can do even more things. For example, if you want to, in, in a way, as I mentioned, if you increase the circulating supply, usually the price goes lower for this. So let me go ahead and edit it. As I max out the circulating to the total supply, 
instead of four dollars now i'm down to three dollars right so this is a tool if you're starting your crypto journey that you can use to better your analysis and if you are a little bit tired of this is not your strength, which are the graphs and all the charting, the oscillators, the indicators, the, you know, different type of trends and formulas that you can do here to measure price predictions and forecasting. I think this tool will help you a lot. Thank you very much for watching, guys, and I'll see you next time. Like, subscribe.